Hi everybody, Top Pops here, and today we're over at Toys R Us. And the reason we're here is because there was some brand new Funko Pops that released, like the Jeffrey the Giraffe dressed up as all four of the turtles. And I'm sure there's also gonna be some other stuff, so let's go inside and see what's new. And now I heard that they actually moved the Funko Pop section here. It's not at the front anymore. It is, aha, uh -huh, over here. Okay, so it's over here in the action figure section. That makes sense. And take a look, they've got a lot of pops today. And right away I am noticing they have all four of the turtles. So I'm definitely going to be getting one of each of these today. I mean, come on, look at how awesome they are. It's a great set. And I believe on the back side, yeah, it does show you all four. What a weird collaboration, but I love it. And then doing a little bit more digging around, I'm seeing like Princess Leia, which is really cool. Some of the ones from Gilligan's Island, Inuyasha, Pokemon, The Witcher, Damian Lillard, which I believe this is new, but it's not one I'm on the hunt for. And then doing some more digging. Let me see. We've got like Black Panther, Black Clover, Candyman, which I believe they've had for a bit. Oh, but now hold on. Here are some that I passed over. The brand new Ted Lasso set, and they finally have Ted Lasso in stock. I haven't seen this guy yet. Or at least I haven't seen the normal one because I remember a while ago I was able to get the chase over at GameStop, so it's kind of funny that I hadn't seen the common version till today. Oh, and then up at the top here we've got a couple of the multi-packs. We've got Ryu and Bright Bomber from Fortnite, which is pretty funny, as well as the Wakanda Forever 4-pack where they glow in the dark. We've also got Triple H and Ronda Rousey. Then a weird one to find here because we have Hot Topic in Canada, but for some reason they got the Peter Pan and Peter Pan shadow here. And if you're gonna ask me why, I have no clue either. But either way, it's cool to see here. Then we also have Indiana Jones, Boulder Escape, and then a few of the ones from My Hero. Oh, now here, everybody, is another section. It seems like these are the ones that are on clearance. And they've got a lot of the pins over here for only 15 bucks. Then we've got more of the pop pins, as well as some of the Funko Golds. Then on this side here, it's some superhero ones that they've probably had for a bit now. And now if you guys want to check the last side, I might as well show it because there are four sides here. We've got Ozark ones, which are pretty cool. Actually, you can get the entire set for like 30 bucks if you wanted to. And then the rest of it, we've got the Proud Family, Louder and Prouder, Squid Game, and then some other random ones. I was doing a bit more walking around and I bumped into this here, guys, Disney's Kingdom Mania, which is actually something made by Funko Games. If you guys want to take a look, they're little collectible figures inside, and then you can actually play a game to go along with them. It's one of the first times I've ever actually seen it at the store. So pretty neat and it looks like you get one of two of them the Maleficent Dragon or the Chase oh wait a second wait a sec I gotta get this. All right, so we're out of Toys R Us. I did pretty good and picked up a couple things, but now we're gonna be going into winners as well as Canada computers, and let's go here first. Oh, and actually, now that I think about it, there's also a Chapters in the Mall, so we'll have to go over there as well. All right, now it looks like they've actually upgraded their section a bit where they've got a lot of the Pokemon ones up top, but if you guys don't know why they have them at Canada computers, it's because people actually like to put them inside of their PC builds. So it's neat to see them here. We've also got stuff like Ned B, and actually, now that I'm looking at it, these guys are on sale for 12 bucks, so there might be something I need. And then around the corner, they still have have their normal section. We've got like the 90s Coca-Cola bear, some other ones down at the bottom on sale. Actually, we've got like the Sopranos, which is cool. And then looking a little bit higher, we've got like Avatar, ooh, as well as Ymir's Titan, as well as Kurt Titan on sale for $24.99 actually is a pretty decent deal. And then keeping it on theme with the anime ones, we've got like Twice, as well as a bunch of other My Hero stuff. And then this giant Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black, it feels like I'm in Fortnite. Oh, and then to the right over here, ooh, there is some interesting stuff. We've got like Peter Pan up at the top, Inuyasha, some Pop Protect, Protectors. Down a little lower, we've got Naruto, Demon Slayer. Woohoo! Wow! You know what's funny? I thought that was Mega Death, but it looked like the G was an E, and I almost said Mia Death, and I don't know what that is. But, anyways, I figured it out. Then, going a little bit lower, we've got some Marvel stuff, as well as check this out a Summer Conventions exclusive Lilith. Why do they have this here? I don't know, but it's cool to find. Then, they've also got J. Jonah Jameson, the soy sauce bottle, which I picked up when we were over in Disney World. It's actually the first time I've ever seen this one in person, not there. So, if you are from Canada and you're looking for one, check your local Canada computers. And then we've got Jiu-Jitsu Kaisen, and I think that's about it. So am I going to be picking up anything here? No, but it was still cool to check. Let's keep hunting. All right, so we've made it into chapters, and it's funny. Normally, they have a really small section, but I can actually see it from here. It looks pretty massive today. Like, take a look, everybody. They've actually moved it over, and it seems like they got some new stuff in, like Costco Reeves over here, Harry Potter with limp arm, as well as this one down here from My Hero. And I mean, it's not a crazy section but it is pretty cool. Nightcrawler is actually one that I've been debating on for a bit. Maybe I'll finally pick him up today. I remember they had him last time we were here, and it's normally a Walgreens exclusive, but I guess here in Canada, Chapters is getting it. Oh, and then way up at the top here, they also have Cassie and Andor, which is one that I've seen here for a little while, but it's still a cool pop. But yeah, I think for today, I am going to be going for Nightcrawler. Now we've made it over to Winners, and if I'm going to be honest, I was a little nervous there because for a second, where they used to be, the section was completely empty. But it's cool because they have a bunch of them for $10. We've got Vecna, The Mandalorian, Princess Leia, and the Shaquille O'Neal 
Slam Magazine cover. And then below that, we actually have some of the t-shirt bundles with this Boba Fett, as well as just the normal Fennec Shand in Indiana Jones. But then the one that I'm gonna be grabbing today, check this out, the brand new Naruto one. Sadly, they only have it in a small, but I know my brother needs this one for his collection, so we're gonna be getting it anyway. Alrighty, so now that we're back at the office, let's go through everything that I picked up, starting with, of course, the Jeffries. As you guys know, I was able to get all four of them. We've got Donatello, Raphael, Michelangelo, and Leonardo. And now this set here, out of all the different Jeffries, is probably one of my favorites. I also really enjoyed the Batman and Robin one, but I don't know, I'm loving the turtles. The only one that I think kind of bothers me a little bit is the Michelangelo, because it's orange and orange, and for a second there, I was thinking there was a green turtle, but they're all green, so that wouldn't make sense. But besides that, I think the set turned out amazing, especially because Jeffrey's holding all four of the weapons. Oh, also, I just noticed it says Toys R Us Canada. Like, why don't these also go to the mini Toys R Uses in Macy's? <laughs> Beats me. And now, let me show you the other stuff that I picked up over at Toys R Us. With the first thing here being two Hot Wheels cars, because I do collect a good amount of them, I just don't show them off all the time. I usually just pick up, like, one here and there. But the ones that I grabbed today, I figured you guys might want to see. Because they are the Disney 100 cars, and I was lucky enough to get the Mickey Mouse, which is looking really great, as well as check this one out, Carl from Up. And I love the balloons in the back of the truck there. And looking at the rest of the ones that they had, I might pick up more of them in the future. But for now, these are the only two that I've got. And then the other thing that I grabbed was the Disney's Kingdomania. And now the reason that I got this one is because it was the chase with the green Maleficent in the middle. But I see that there's also two other figures that you could possibly get. So let's crack it open. All righty, let's see what we've got going on here. And this was also on sale for $20. I'm not exactly sure what it normally goes for. And I guess really quickly, if you want to see all of the figures and stuff that can come inside, here they are. It also says that there are a couple exclusive ones. So I guess we'll figure that out. Up at the top here though, we ended up getting, oh, the popsicle. This one here is from Zootopia. It's actually Nick Wilds. What a weird little thing to throw in. I really enjoy that. And then it looks like the other thing that I got was the canine crunchies. And this is from, you know what? I'm not exactly sure. I was thinking Bolt, but maybe it's also a thing from Zootopia. I don't know. Somebody let me know in the comments. And then what else do we have? Another one up at the top here. It looks like it's got like Mickey ears. Oh, I got Mickey. Oh, that's pretty neat. Sorry, I've really got to look over at the list here to see what's going on because I really want to figure them all out. But check that out. There's one of the actual figures of the characters. And then of course you get this at the bottom here, which is just like instructions on how to play and stuff like that. And then here is the Chase Maleficent. Is it pretty neat? I mean, it definitely looks like a nice figure. It's also cool that she's a little bit bigger, but let's find out exactly which mystery figures we got. There's even a little peel here tab. Okay, I'm trying to look at the back here. Ooh, we got Dr. Facilier. Wow, 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 pretty neat. I'm also liking how small, but also blocky they look. It's a cool style. And then everybody, we've got one more character, which is, ah, Cruella de Vil. And I don't think they're all villains. No, they're not. You can get a bunch of other characters as well, but I am totally okay with getting the ones that I got because they are some pretty detailed ones. And check her out there. Another nice one, especially with that big hair. And maybe I will play the game now that I've got this, but if I'm gonna be honest, I just thought the figures were cool and that you can collect them as well. So if you wanna see me buy another one of these and if I see it at Toys R Us again, I probably will grab one. Oh, and I just noticed now you can get Buzz Lightyear's spaceship. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have to get another. Alrighty, now let's jump into Nightcrawler that I picked up over at Chapters. One that I knew was there, but honestly, I forgot about. And so I'm glad they still had a couple of them available because I do really enjoy this figure. And taking a look on the back, they have some pretty old ones here. It looks like they tried to do one of every single X-Men character they've made over the years, which I really enjoy. It's kind of a cool thing to look back on. And so eventually, maybe we'll get Nightcrawler on the back as well when they make another character. I don't know, but I'm also really enjoying the cartoony version of him, especially his eyes. Oh, and I totally forgot that he has like those weird chicken-ish feet. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? And then everybody, we've of course got the Naruto Pop and Tea Bundle. And it is too bad that they only had Smalls, otherwise I totally would've went for something bigger. But then again, I do have a couple of those t-shirt frames that I picked up, I believe, over at Michael's like years and years ago. Now, I don't even know if they still sell them. If they do, you should totally check them out though. Because what you can do is you actually fold the t-shirt inside, then you can just use the design. So maybe if you wanna buy a t-shirt bundle like this and they don't have your size, you could put it up like some art on the wall. And I believe it's mainly for if you get like a t-shirt signed or something like that, but Funko does make some pretty good art, so I don't see why not. You could use it for this. Oh, and I'm also just noticing now that it does have a special edition sticker on the front, so I don't know where it's normally exclusive to. I was gonna say GameStop or maybe Target, but then we get the GameStop stuff in Canada, so it's probably 
probably not there. Yeah, probably like Target or Box Lunch, perhaps. I don't know. If you guys know, please pop it in the comment section below because I really do want to find that out. Also, this seems to be a pretty new one because it is from the uh, like the newer wave like that came out like maybe last year. Let me see on the bottom here. Oh, it says, yeah, 2022, so only last year. And now that I think about it, it's weird that I don't really remember this one, but when it comes to the t-shirt bundles, I don't know, I kind of forget them sometimes because they make so many and usually the characters are pretty similar to other ones. And well, everybody, there you go. That is my entire pop hunt for today. And I hope that you had fun coming along with me because finding those Jeffries as well as a bunch of other stuff was pretty cool. And so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you tomorrow.